What if I told you Iran has just revealed a pilotless next generation stealth J-313 jet, so advanced that military experts around the world are shocked? This isn't a drone, it's a fully autonomous stealth fighter, and today, we're breaking down everything they're not telling you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today we're diving into one of the most surprising military developments of the year Iran's newly revealed pilotless next generation stealth jet, the j 330 t this announcement has sent shockwaves across defense communities, aviation circles, and intelligence agencies worldwide. For years, the J-313 was dismissed as an experimental prototype with uncertain capabilities. But now, Iran claims to have achieved something far more advanced, full autonomous operation, advanced stealth shaping, and integrated AI flight systems. What makes this reveal even more intriguing is the timing. Global tensions are rising, major powers are pushing for next-gen air dominance, and drone warfare is evolving faster than anyone predicted. Yet here comes Iran, showcasing a jet that reportedly needs no human pilot on board. If their claims are even partially accurate, this could dramatically shift the region's military balance. In this video, we'll break down what Iran has actually shown, what is confirmed, what experts are questioning, and what this means for future warfare. We're going to explore the design, possible technology inside the jet, and how realistic its capabilities might be. So stay tuned, because the truth behind this aircraft is more complex and more surprising than you might expect. Iran's announcement of a pilotless stealth J-313 jet raises a critical question. How does a country under sanctions, with limited access to high and aviation components, achieve this level of technological advancement? The reveal footage showcased a sleek airframe, radar, absorbing contours, and redesigned intakes suggesting a major upgrade from earlier versions. According to Iranian officials, the new J-313 integrates an onboard AI system capable of real-time decision-making, autonomous navigation, and adaptive combat behavior. These are extremely ambitious claims, and defense analysts are trying to determine what is real and what might be exaggerated. Some experts believe Iran may have developed a hybrid system, part drone, part light stealth fighter, designed to operate in contested airspace without risking a pilot's life. Others point out that the jet's size and previously observed limitations raise doubts about its true engine power and weapons load. However, one thing is clear Iran is pushing for an indigenous next gen aircraft program that reduces reliance on human pilots. Even if this prototype is not fully operational, simply demonstrating autonomous flight capability represents a significant milestone. The global trend is moving toward unmanned combat air vehicles, and Iran appears determined to join that race sooner than expected. This development could force neighboring countries to rethink their air defense strategies. To understand the shock among experts, we need to analyze the J-313's most controversial feature, its alleged autonomous combat system. Iran claims the jet can independently take off, navigate hostile environments, identify threats, and execute missions without real-time human input. This places it in the same conceptual league as advanced UCAV projects from the US, China, and Europe. But is that realistic? The footage released shows a cockpit, though minimally equipped, suggesting the aircraft may be designed for both piloted and pilotless modes. Analysts believe the autonomy level may currently be limited, perhaps more autopilot than true AI, yet even partial autonomy represents significant progress. The real surprise is the integration of possible sensor fusion technology. Iranian state media hinted that the jet uses a combination of infrared sensors, flight computers, and encrypted communication links, allowing it to coordinate with drones or receive mission updates mid-flight. If true, this would support Iran's broader strategy of building a networked unmanned air fleet. Critics argue that without verified radar cross-section data, engine performance numbers, or weapons integration tests, calling it a next-gen stealth jet may be premature. Still. The global reaction shows one thing Iran has positioned this jet as a symbol of technological ambition and strategic messaging aimed at regional adversaries. One of the biggest mysteries surrounding the pilotless J-313 is its propulsion system. Previous versions were believed to use a modified reverse engineered engine with limited thrust. However, the new prototype displayed during the reveal appeared to feature redesigned exhaust geometry and improved thermal masking, suggesting an attempt to reduce infrared signature. While Iran has not disclosed engine specifications, experts speculate that the aircraft might use a lightweight power plant better suited for unmanned operations. Since removing the pilot reduces weight and eliminates life support requirements, the jet could theoretically achieve longer endurance and maneuverability compared to earlier manned concepts. But the question remains, can it achieve true supersonic performance? Many analysts are doubtful, citing physical constraints and past performance issues. Still. Iran might not be aiming for raw speed. Instead, the objective could be survivability and operational flexibility. An autonomous stealth jet that can fly low, navigate terrain, operate in swarms, and conduct electronic warfare could be far more valuable than a traditional fighter. Another factor is cost. 
If Iran can produce these jets cheaply, they could deploy them in larger numbers, overwhelming enemy defenses. This aligns with Iran's doctrine of asymmetric warfare, winning through innovation, unpredictability, and quantity rather than traditional air superiority. The reveal of the pilotless J-313 also highlights Iran's rapidly expanding drone and unmanned systems ecosystem. Over the last decade, Iran has become a major producer of UAVs, exporting systems to allies and proxies while demonstrating growing sophistication. The evolution from drones to a full pilotless stealth jet represents a dramatic leap. Analysts believe the J-313 program may have benefited from technologies developed for Iran's Shade and Mohajer drone families, including AI-assisted navigation, electronic warfare suites, and low observable coatings. What truly surprised military observers was Iran's confidence in publicly showcasing this aircraft. Usually, countries test such platforms secretly until performance is proven. Iran, however, may be using the reveal strategically, to signal technological capability, boost national pride, and deter adversaries by implying a new category of unmanned threat. Footage of the jet taxiing and undergoing system checks suggests that, at minimum, it is a functioning platform. Even if still experimental, regional air forces, particularly in the Gulf, are now re-evaluating their air defense calculations. If Iran succeeds in fielding pilotless stealth aircraft, it could shift the balance of unmanned warfare in the Middle East. Whether exaggerated or not, the J-313 has already achieved one major victory, commanding global attention. Another aspect raising global attention is the potential weapons integration on the pilotless J-313. Iran has not officially displayed the jet-carrying missiles, guided bombs, or electronic warfare pods, but defense analysts believe the platform is being designed to support lightweight precision munitions. Given Iran's experience with drone-launched missiles and loitering munitions, it is very possible the J-313 could eventually deploy smart weapons tailored for autonomous missions. A pilotless stealth jet carrying small radar evading missiles would be difficult to detect and intercept, especially if deployed in groups. Analysts also speculate that the aircraft may be configured for electronic attack roles, such as radar jamming or communications disruption. This would fit Iran's strategic focus on asymmetric air warfare, prioritizing disruption, survivability, and unpredictability over traditional dogfighting capability. Some experts believe Iran may integrate data link systems allowing the jet to operate alongside drones, sharing targeting information in real time. Even if the jet's flight performance remains modest, the combination of stealth, autonomy, and precision weapons could make it a highly efficient platform in unconventional warfare scenarios. At this stage, the lack of verified test footage means its true combat capacity remains speculative. However, the potential alone has prompted military planners to prepare for new threats in the region. One reason this jet created such a global reaction is its symbolic value. Iran has long sought to prove its technological independence in the face of sanctions, restrictions, and military pressure. By showcasing a pilotless stealth jet, even if still a prototype, Iran is sending multiple messages at once. First, it signals to Iran's unmanned Ahmed capabilities are evolving beyond simple drones. Second, it reinforces domestic pride by presenting an advanced technological achievement. Third, it challenges the narrative that Iran's aerospace industry is incapable of producing sophisticated platforms. While the J-313 may not match fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 or J-20, that is not Iran's goal. Instead, Iran is attempting to carve out a unique category of unmanned stealth aviation tailored to its doctrine. Experts also point out that Iran often reveals new military systems strategically, timed with regional tensions or diplomatic negotiations. The timing of this announcement, combined with rising global focus on autonomous warfare, amplifies its impact. Even nations that doubt the jet's capabilities must now consider the possibility that Iran is closer to operational unmanned stealth technology than previously believed. In international politics, perception can be as powerful as actual performance, and Iran is leveraging that advantage strategically. The global military community is now debating one major question, how capable is the J-313 really? Some experts argue that the aircraft is more of a technology demonstrator than a fully combat-ready jet. They point to Iran's history of unveiling prototypes that take years to reach operational service. Others believe the new design shows genuine progress, especially in terms of structural improvements, materials and aerodynamic shaping. The integration of AI and autonomous features, if real, would align with global trends in sixth-generation air combat strategies. However, critics emphasize that Iran has not shown the jet flying complex maneuvers, engaging targets, or demonstrating stealth characteristics under testing. Without transparent trials, many of the claims remain unproven. Still, skeptics also admit that underestimation has often been a mistake in the past. Iran's drones, once mocked, are now used in battlefields worldwide. The same trajectory could apply to the J-313. Even a limited capability autonomous stealth jet 
could still change tactical planning in the Middle East. Whether intentionally or not, Iran has created uncertainty, and uncertainty itself forces adversaries to allocate resources, upgrade defenses, and prepare for scenarios involving unmanned stealth aircraft. The debate will likely continue until independent observers witness full flight tests. To understand where the J-313 fits globally, it helps to compare it to other unmanned aircraft developments. The United States is advancing its NGD and Lowell Wingman programs, working toward highly autonomous combat jets. China is developing advanced UCAVs with stealth features, while Europe is focusing on collaborative AI-driven air systems. Iran cannot match their budgets or technological ecosystems, but it has a major advantage necessity. Forced innovation often produces unconventional breakthroughs. The J-313, if functional, could be part of Iran's vision of a distributed, unmanned combat network. Jets, drones, loitering munitions, and electronic warfare platforms all link digitally. This approach emphasizes quantity, resilience, and unpredictability rather than pure technological dominance. Another key comparison lies in cost. A cheap, pilotless stealth jet, even with limited performance, could be deployed in high-risk missions impossible for nations with expensive fifth-generation fighters. Imagine dozens of these jets flying low, dispersing, jamming radars, and overwhelming air defenses. This scenario aligns with modern swarm-centric warfare strategies. Even major powers admit that unmanned platforms will eventually dominate future battles. Iran's J-313 might not be perfect, but it represents an early step into that future, one that could accelerate regional adoption of autonomous air combat systems. So what does this all mean for global security? The reveal of Iran's pilotless next-generation stealth J-3030 jet signals a decisive shift toward autonomous warfare. Whether fully operational or still experimental, the aircraft demonstrates Iran's determination to expand its unmanned military capabilities. It forces regional rivals to reevaluate air defense strategies, prompts defense analysts to reassess Iran's engineering capacity, and adds a new layer of complexity to Middle Eastern air power dynamics. The J-313's significance lies not only in what it can do today, but in what it represents a future where unmanned stealth platforms become central to strategic deterrence. Even if the aircraft's performance remains limited, the fact that Iran is pushing this technology publicly shows confidence in its direction. Over the next few years, we can expect more test footage, upgraded prototypes, and attempts to integrate advanced AI systems. Whether this jet becomes operational or serves as a stepping stone to more refined designs, it already marks an important milestone. It sparks international debate, influences military planning, and expands the boundaries of what nations with restricted resources can achieve. As autonomous warfare accelerates globally, Iran's J-313 will be remembered as one of the early signals of a rapidly changing aerial battlefield. If you found this analysis helpful and want to stay updated on the latest global military breakthroughs, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new upload. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next report.